Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and this is your 43rd tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to finish this search function as well as we are, we are about to finish working on the jQuery portfolio in this tutorial. Well, it sounds sad, but I hope you guys like this portfolio and stuff. So, let's just go ahead and make this search work properly. Well, now it works, now we can search for the stuff, but Usually, when you have such a search box and you t I just uh, press backspace to, to erase the search query, you usually go back to the normal state where you uh, see all the pictures. And uh, now we'll just do that, this function, so that we can just go back. So, um, the thing is, we want to track the backspace, the backspace, um, press button and this key press function which we used doesn't support backspace or delete so we can replace it to key up function and this key up function works in uh, every case and then we have to only check if the search query is empty and when, when it's empty and you press backspace for instance it should just show the elements back um, we'll just do that so we already fetched the current query from this search.val and now we can just check if this current query is not empty well like this like so so when it's not empty we can run our code which we wrote in the previous tutorial but first I will style it a little bit because it doesn't look good yeah now it looks better but else when the search query is empty we can make the elements appear back so just copy this line of code where, where we hide it and do the opposite of hiding which is showing like this so uh, the idea is the following we uh, just type a search query and then we just press backspace or delete and the search query is empty for instance and then this code should run and this code will just show all the portfolio items back so just go ahead and test it uh, I'll just type water, water, and I see this nice big picture of this water, of this boat, and then I, now I'm just pressing backspace, 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 and now we go back. So, uh, that's it for this tutorial, well, it, it is a very short tutorial, but now we officially finished the jQuery portfolio, and if you guys want to add some new features to that, well, I hope you can come up with some good ideas and stuff and well this portfolio is actually not perfect you can add lots of features you can replace the small images by th thumbnails and stuff and you can do lots of cool stuff and if you uh, can program PHP you can uh, even uh, make the elements appear uh, by just simply copying them to a folder and stuff well you can do lots of things but all this the purpose of this jQuery portfolio was only to teach you guys the basics and like the most interesting functions which we have in jQuery. And I hope you guys like this jQuery portfolio and in the next tutorials we will learn something about Ajax and the reason why we didn't had a block of tutorials in a row for Ajax is I just didn't want to over overwhelm you guys with all this Ajax stuff because it's very uh, abstract and instead of that, I just decided to uh, make some little Ajax uh, functions so that you just know uh, how Ajax works and, and, and still have fun because you see what it does. So in the next tutorials, we will learn some Ajax um, some more. And of course, by the end, we will just make a quick review and just take a look at what you guys learned in this tutorial set. Because, uh, well, currently this is 43rd tutorial and we are heading now towards the end and we have only seven tutorials left but uh, if you guys were following along you did a good job anyway you learned a lot on jQuery and you're actually able of creating a, a nice website because you uh, also saw me coding CSS and HTML and stuff and if you have any questions about this portfolio about this functionality of filter or fade in and fade out overlay search queries uh, drag and drop, uh, server side, uh, storing the images to the file. You can just go ahead and ask me uh, questions in the comments, and I'll be looking forward to answer them. And I also hope you guys 
can take advantage of this portfolio and create your own uh, website where you just can store your pictures and stuff or if you're an artist or, or, or a photographer or you can just store your private pictures in, uh, in a very nice way. So uh, thanks for watching guys and thanks for uh, doing this portfolio with me. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial which is going to be a little bit different.